What's going on, guys? I'm a true gamer guy, and I'm gonna be playing through the game. The it's an older game, but it's not too old. It's Max Payne 3, and it's one of my favorite games. So I just figured I'd have it on my channel at least once. So I'm gonna play through it on normal difficulty, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, the medium, soft lock. Nope. I'm not going to talk during the cutscenes, so I'll be quiet now. This place is great, really comfortable. I'm just going to get settled in. Time to move on. Get on with my life. Yes, absolutely. Now, like I said, it was a long time ago. Let it go. Seriously. Definitely more my style than Panama. Or Hoboken, I guess. No. If I'm honest, I just got kind of bored of boozing. I mean, once in a while, but not all the time. You're right. It wasn't doing me any favors. Maybe I would lost my self-respect, but it's back. I'm excited. Really. I really needed a new start. It certainly, it certainly ain't New Jersey. It's my new life, just like you said. Listen, if you think I can still do a job, what have I got to lose? Apart from the weight. Very funny. Ha ha. Yes, that is a fake laugh, you jerk. So I guess I've become what they wanted me to be. A killer. Some rent a clown with a gun who puts holes in other bad guys. Well, that's...
that's what they had paid for, so in the end, that's what they got. Say what you want about Americans, but we understand capitalism. You buy yourself a product, and you get what you pay for. And these chumps had paid for some angry gringo without the sensibilities to know right from wrong. Here I was, about to execute this poor bastard like some dime store angel of death. And I realized they were correct. I wouldn't know right from wrong if one of them was helping the poor and the other was banging my sister. I'd arrived in Sao Paulo a few weeks before. I was working a protection detail for the kind of people who need protection in a town like this. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. So for now, we seem to get along just fine. Of course, that was about to change. Hey, brother. Hey. How's the cocktail? It's scotch. I never mix my drinks. Well, at least not on duty. Something like that. Man, that favela is big. Yep. Nothing like the view of extreme poverty to make a penthouse cocktail party really swing. I guess they call it trickle-down economics. <laughs> That's funny. It's supposed to be a charity thing. Drink and give money. I don't know. Something for the kids. Hey, listen, man. We better look lively. This place is a nightmare. They just got cowboys running security downstairs and something rotten in the air. That didn't mean much. There was always something rotten in the air. The family we were protecting were local celebrities, rich parasites with delusions of humanity. The kind of people who end up in glossy magazines or body bags, depending on how their luck runs. So where are they all? I see Rodrigo over there talking to that guy. Yeah, I don't know him. That guy next to him. He's some kind of cop. Uh, I think, I'm not sure. Serious though. Big end cop, anti-gang sort of thing. I can't remember his name. Who's this guy? That guy's a plastic surgeon or some kind of surgeon. Uh, tummy tucks and cock implants. Ha! <laughs> Look at Marcel. Still dances like a fool. Guess that's what a European education and a co-capital do for Ricky Martin look alike. <laughs> that's very funny, Max. Oh, excuse me. I was mostly working for Rodrigo Branco. A local businessman built things did some charity had things named after him won awards owned things people one of the trophies he had won was his wife fabiana she was hot and wanted to be dangerous some good genes trying to fight their way out of a cesspit she'd married well and was now at leisure to regret her good fortune they got along as well as any rich workaholic and his younger airhead wife tend to get along they mostly ignored each other. She spent a lot of time with his coquette younger brother, Marcello. He was a good time guy, if your idea of a good time was an expensive suit, a bottle of champagne, and nothing between the ears. The middle brother, Victor, had just walked in. He was a local politician. Guy was smoother than an oil slick on an iceberg, and about as toxic. The rest of the crowd, I didn't know, but I could imagine the types. People who know if they drink enough, they won't have to feel guilty about their good fortune. Suddenly, things turned real ugly. Felt like our hangovers arrived right on cue. Let's go. Things had gone Shit. from fine to fucked up in about a second. And now there were two idiots at the wheel. Clear. Got the floor? Sure. Look after yourself, bro. Stay safe. It wasn't my own safety I was concerned about. Trophy wife or not. I'd said I would protect the girl. Dang, I never really realized how long that cutscene was. Alright.
I'm back. The cutscene's over, and the gameplay has picked up. The the party we got held up, or I guess you would say just hostages were taken. Uh, so it, it went pretty bad. Now I gotta now I gotta clean it up. I guess you would say. And I think. Nah, I am. Um, I played this game so many times I just get the levels mixed up. But one of my favorite things. All right, I'll stop talking. It might have been stupidity, or drunkenness, or maybe both. But before I knew it, I was back taking insane risks, trying to save fallen women. I imagine the elevator door is opening to a firing squad of muzzles. As far as I could see it, the one thing my plan had going was that no one else would be stupid enough to pull this move. But as I was saying before the cutscene, a couple of my favorite things about this game are the cutscenes, how like detailed and cool and like the I uh there's like flare effects, I guess you'd call them. I don't really know what they're called. And the those cinematic moments like where he jumped into the pool as he shot. Uh, just what makes this game so so cool. Even in the, the the second the first and second one, the same thing. Uh -oh. Take that guy out. I haven't really been looking for pain pills. So I guess I should kinda look around. I don't see any. Wait. No, I thought I saw one right there. I'll pick up this shotgun. I know he's gonna have that mini 30, so I'll pick that up. I that. I think that's just so cool. Oh, it slows it down and stuff. This gun, the mini, the mini 30, it's not really in that many levels. Maybe I still had a shot. But it's. Like one of the better guns in the game, I think. And it's a, the only two levels I think it's in is this one and one uh, later in the game where you're in the favela. But it has like a red dot sight, so it isn't as good. But I always liked the gun. It wasn't that good in multiplayer, I don't think. I guess it may have been, but I don't remember it being very good. I already have all the gold guns, so I don't have to worry about the clues or the gold guns, so I can just kind of. It's not a speed run, but I can kind of run through the game without having to worry about all that. I played this. I played this game so many times. It's probably my fifth or sixth times playing this, so I know my way through all the levels and stuff. And there's that clue right there. I guess that and like the, there's like one like a. Was I too late? I'll try not to talk when he's talking, but like other than. That clue right there, I just walked past. That's like one of the first clues. I think there's like a magazine on the table. I got that party, but that's about it. Maybe I can do a, a guide through all the uh, clues and guns. Not that there's a million people who have already done it, and it probably is pretty uh, useless information at this point. And I'm trying gonna try to keep these episodes at like. 10 minutes a piece, 10 15 minutes. And I'm at 14 right now, so after this cutscene, I'll end this ep end episode 1. Everything is okay. Have to use the controls again, though. Get these two guys. Get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. 
Come with me. Just come. Here. It's okay. Que porra vocês estão fazendo? A justiça local? Que porra você acha que é falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão. Continua dando multas. Não põe o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos. Chama uma ambulância. Fuck. You did good, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. A different branch of the police. Not Uped, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home, too. Come on. Time for some R and R. The only way I knew how. I guess I was ready for bed. <coughs> A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get to do a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. <laughs> you were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, you spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Baba? More bodies turned up, more people went missing. Well, it's horrifying. Can someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding, but it is a cool town, man. <laughs> hey, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I love this view. It's a real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Investment for your brother. We'll call him up, homie. 
I haven't seen him for a while. I'm gonna block that. Of course. Last week was Fashion Week. My God, Egypt's back so beautiful. You know Anastasia? Oh yeah, I know Anna. I got to tell you the story. I love her. Nothing but the best. Nothing but the second best. Why can't we sit over there, man? Oh, I love you, but Claudio would have been the best. Claudio? Fucking Claudio. He isn't even any good. If he were good, he'd be in Barcelona, Milan. He couldn't make it in Germany. Now he comes back here and like fucking royalty. I'll introduce you. Nah, I need to see that. Just give me a bottle of champagne, eh? This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. Fucking monkey from a fucking slum. He acts cool with me. What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What are you fucking doing, man? About what? What do you do about life? <laughs> Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit. People. Fuck them. People get me wrong. <sighs> I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, ah, my oh, nigga! Man. How are you? <laughs> What's your bed, Mo? What's your bed? Thank God he has left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. <laughs> There goes Claudia. Yeah. There's an achievement for getting all these guys. It took me so long to get it though. It's pretty fun though. I think I have every single single player achievement for this. Alright guys, it's about time. It's about the time that I wanted to end this video at 23 minutes as a long cutscene. But I'll pick this up next episode up right here on this dance floor. But I'm a true gamer guy, and I'll be designed.